Hello everyone, Cup here and welcome back to another Shop Titans video. We have the Cyclops General Flash Quest today, so we will be checking that one out. Let's go! The Cyclops General is dropping exotic equipment, which basically means, as far as I understand it, that this guy will drop items similar to how the king drops items or brings back items from quests. So it's like premium type of items, either from blueprints that you can get from chests or like paid blueprints from previous item lines. This guy has two tries and has air elemental barrier on extreme difficulty. And it is not possible to use loot bugles. So let's see what we can do here. Since this guy is dropping equipment and also there's no point in not doing this. I'm just going to send Polonia as part of one of my teams. Alright, I'm going to send it like this. Hopefully Polonia can bring back some extra items. And let me use a bronze compass. I have so many and I don't need to wait as long to show you the results. So team one. Oh again, since this team just had three greens and one yellow, but I wasn't using a power booster, so this should be fine. We had that topic uh, two videos ago or so. When you are on an extreme difficulty quest and you are using a mega power booster, then the smiley system is not as accurate. So three greens and one yellow would be like 50-50 or something. So, but yeah, in this case, since I'm not using a power booster, this should be fine. And second one with Ashley, maybe. Alright, Ashley and full on rogue type of heroes. Alright, second team like this. Also with a bronze compass, so it's quicker. And yeah, let's see how this goes. I don't really have questions for this video. Um, so if you have any questions, want me to talk about anything, please leave a comment and I will do so in the next video. Uh, however, one thing I wanted to mention um, related to the last video and the titles update. I got a comment saying that it's possible to check titles and how you get those titles by clicking on the names or on the profiles of people. So for example, you want to know what hard carry is here, so you click on this profile and then you just click on the title here and now it says hard carry 5 means you need to earn 5000 bounty trophies to get this and this way you can just check every title that you see anywhere however it does not work for your own profile so i cannot click on my own which is kind of stupid um so you still can't really see if you have unlocked the final version of uh, one of your, if you have the unlocked something here and you can't really see how you unlocked it, so that's still the case, you need to find another person that has that title and then <laughs> click on their profile to check how they got it. So yeah, but I hope they will implement it. Um, there's no point in not implementing it to just be able to see your own achievements once you fully complete them and how you got, or titles rather, uh, that you can see how you actually got those titles. So yeah, I can't click on this or anything, so I cannot check this. And also on my own profile, I cannot check here either. But yeah, uh, so much for that. You can just check every title that you see on uh, anyone else. And also one more thing I wanted to share with you. Let me check if I made a screenshot or not. I saw a title that really surprised me. Wow, I, I really thought that I did make a screenshot, but I didn't, unfortunately. So you will have to trust me. Um, I saw a title called Supporter. And it was Supporter 5, so the highest version of that. And I checked on their profile and Supporter 5 you get if you spend more than 10,000 US dollars on the game. 
that just completely stunned me when I saw that. <laughs> it's just an amount of money that I don't know. I I couldn't grasp spending on a game. So that was very interesting to me to see. I mean, there are people who just have a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter to them, I guess. But yeah, I, I just, I, I saw it and I was like, whoa, <laughs> what the heck? So yeah, I, I just wanted to share that with you. So there are at least some people who have spent over 10,000 US dollars on this game. Uh, so much for that. I don't really have anything to talk about today. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment and we will talk about that in the next video. And yeah, I will see you in a bit when the flash quests are done. See you soon. And we are back. Alright, let's see the results. Ow. Surprisingly a lot of damage from that AoE attack. Also, they are not dodging for some reason. Ow. Oh. Hello? Why was this so hard? They were all green. I feel like something is off here. They were all green, this team. And th this was really close. What the? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. If this one was so close, the other one had one yellow, so the other one might actually lose if it goes like this. This is weird. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't know what this is, what tier this is. This is tier 11, I think. I need to check these. Uh, 24 items, just one stack and the few items from Royal Merchant. Let me check before I lose the second try. Let me actually check what kind of items. Oh, both tier 10 actually. Never mind. Well, these are trash. Tier 10 is not good. All right. Second try and let's see if we lose. It dodged at least. And this one doesn't take damage. Dodge again. Okay, this one is going much better for some reason. But he's also not taking a lot of damage, because all of my heroes are not the strongest. Actually, the left one should deal a decent amount when he crits, I guess. Okay, this seems fine. For some reason, this was better than the first run. Maybe I was just really unlucky on the first one, because they all got hit. But they had really high evasion, all of them, but they still all got hit all the time. So maybe I was just super unlucky there. Um, oh, this, this is decent. Um, opulence. And also two stacks. Oh, never mind. I, the second stack is because of Polonia. This one is Polonia stack, tier 10. Uh, let me check these two. I think this is tier 10, but it's opulent, so it's good. And this one might be tier 11. Let me check. Okay, tier 11, and yeah, this is tier 10, but decent decent value, 2.2 million. And yeah, these. Okay, so this is like 48 million, so if you surcharge it, it's 96. Let's say 100, and yeah, 130 or something total maybe. Something like that, 130 million total value. If you surcharge the high value items, at least. Alright, this was uh, not that bad. This, uh, the opulent grasp here, and also a big stack. This really saved, kind of, this flash quest for me, value-wise. But yeah, um, was was okay, I guess. The tier 10 items are kind of meh. I think it's stupid that you can get tier 10 from extreme difficulty, to be honest. Extreme difficulty should only be tier 11 and tier 12, in my opinion. But yeah. Alright. Um, so much for that. This was okay. Not bad. Not, not great either. 
let's check the next flash quest in two days on the 28th. All right, in two days we will have the Anubis champion and that one will drop champion coins. That's really good, depending on how many drop, of course. And difficulty wise, that one is a little bit stronger than today. So I might need to use a, since this was kind of close, at least on the first run, I might have to use a power booster on that. We will see. So I'd say it's about 30% stronger than the one today. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you again in two days. Thanks for watching. Bye.